Hey Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter 3, number 85, and here we're given 8 cards. 5 are green, 3 are yellow, and we're going to draw 1 card. So I'm going to draw my sample space first of all. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 green cards, and then I'm going to color code this, and I'm going to do my 3 yellows. 1, 2, 3, although it's kind of hard to see those, but here we go. I'm going to put right G1, G2, G3. G4, G5, and let me see if I can get a darker yellow. I'll do this one. So we'll go Y1, Y2, and Y3. And that's it, there's my sample space. And that's what I wrote right here, All right? There is my sample space, and we can count. I have eight outcomes. Oops, let me get my purple pen. Eight outcomes in that sample space. So that was the first part, just list the sample space, and I did. And then we said event G, right, is that you get the green. Right, and they're calling event E that you get an even numbered card. So if I'm asked in part B, what's the probability of getting a green card? Well, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five options out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possibilities. And that's where I'm getting this five eights. Now for part C, we have the conditional probability. It's saying given, given that the even happens. So you knew you picked a card and you got an even number, meaning if we're going with this, let me change colors again. If I got an even, either I got a G2, a G4, or a Y2, right? There are three possibilities. So given that you got an even, what's the probability that on top of that you got a green, okay? So probability of green. And you can see out of those three that I had, one, two, three, you can see that two of them were green. That's where I'm gonna get this two thirds, but I'm gonna work the formula because I think it's really important to see how the formula works too. So let me undo all of my little markings here so that it's not too crowded. All right, so how this works is whatever are in these positions, we put both of them in the numerator and we put the condition down in the denominator. So we want green and even over the probability of even. So green and even, we see that there are two green and evens out of the eight possibilities. The even in general, there are one, two, three out of the eight possibilities. Two eights divided by three eights is two eights times eight thirds. You can see the eights cancel out, and there I go with my two thirds, okay? So let's take a look now at part D. It says, what is the probability of G and E? Well, we actually already figured it, oops, excuse me. We figured it out. Oh my goodness, I need to relax. <laughs> we figured it out right here. We said green and even. There were one, two of those out of eight in general, right? So we've got two out of eight or one out of four. And then part E asks us for the or formula. Well, that is the addition rule. That is formula one in those five formulas you have. It's one of the formulas that you're always allowed to use, right? This was formula two up here. You're always allowed to use it. So if I'm going with that, I need the probability of a green plus the probability of an even minus any overlap. So let's go ahead. I'm going to actually be real careful right now. I'm going to try and erase this just so that we have some space so I can highlight some new things. All right, so let's let's take a look here. I'm going to get the green highlighter up. So for probability of green, we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's why you see me doing five eighths. For probability of even, I've got one, two, three. That's why you see me putting the three here. And then if we think about the overlap, did I have any greens and evens? And you can see I, I did. I had two things that I highlighted in both green and purple, right? And that's why I'm subtracting out the two because two was counted here and two was counted here, right? So G2 and G4 were counted here and G2 and G4 were counted here. They were double counted. So I need to lose two of those to balance it back out. I get six out of eight. And then all of a sudden I've got three fourths. And last but not least, are green and even mutually exclusive? Meaning, is it possible to get a green card that is also even? And you can see it is possible, right? We've been talking about it, G2 and G4. Since that can happen at the same time, just thinking about it, I know they're not mutually exclusive, but if I calculate this probability, there were two out of those eight, and that is not equal to zero, so they are not mutually exclusive. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.